There are too many VR fails out there, and don't be a victim. Here's how you can survive VR gaming while applying Zombieland rules. Rule number one, cardio. Unlike other gaming platforms where your energy is spent mostly on your fingers, VR requires you to move your legs, arms, head, and body. Five minutes in VR may be too much for the untrained. Rule number two, double tap. In using Oculus Quest 2, don't forget to double tap your headset whenever you physically move out of your game space. Ow! Ow! Ouch! 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 Double tap will trigger your headset to show your actual environment, although in black and white. But it does serve the purpose. Save those pinky toes! Oh, there you go. Rule number three, Rick's beware toilet. of bathrooms. Yeah. In VR, you can get easily fooled by the environment and can easily oh, get pee. carried away. Okay. Now imagine you Time are on pee. a family VR party, then felt there like peeing, you and you see a toilet bowl in VR, but got carried away because you're too drunk. Ew. Say goodbye to your family. Rule number four, seat belts. Yes, this is common knowledge in cars, but in VR, it simply means using your controller straps properly. If you want to save time, tie it like a knuckle strap shown in my other video. Again, seatbelt saves lives. Lives of your controllers. Hello there, Regil here. I did it! Finally, a VR game developer recognized my VR channel and contempt and gave me a game for review. Our friends from XR Games gave me a Steam code for Zombieland VR Headshot Fever for me to review. YouTube, however, still does not recognize me as their partner because I need 100 more subscriptions and I would greatly appreciate if you can help me achieve that goal. But this is a milestone for me, so I hope you like this review episode. So here we go. Do you remember the days when you go to the arcade? One of my favorite was arcade shooters like House of the Dead and Time Crisis. I don't have much money before, so I always maximize the fun I get to each token I feed to the arcade machine. Fast forward to today, I now have a VR, which is a lot more immersive than the arcades. And I can at any time play an arcade shooter without the need for those precious tokens. Today, XR Games released Zombieland VR Headshot Fever in Steam VR. This game was first released in Oculus Store last March, but today they are making this game available to Steam VR platform. Movie. Since its release on Oculus Quest in March 2021, Zombieland VR has been nominated for VR Game of the Year at 2021 VR Awards. Received an average rating of 4.5 out of 5 stars at the store and reached the top 10 Oculus sales charts. I'm ready if you're ready. It currently sells at $19.99 at Steam VR. So about the game style and environment, this is a different take to Zombie Apocalypse, which is not as serious as The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, or Arizona Sunshine. Imagine, years after Zombie Apocalypse, where you've already got accustomed to zombies and sports entertainment is dead now. Open a gun shooting event, then sprinkle and add some zombies on it, and this is what you get. Zombieland Invitational Shooter, which is the premise of the game. Same as the Zombieland films, it is abundant of humor. And at times, my type of joke. Dad jokes. A caterpillar has to die to become a butterfly. This is an arcade light gun racing shooter built for VR. Think of zombie shooting from the House of the Dead combined with checkpoint time trials from racing games. Same as the arcade, they show the leaderboard and this is worldwide. 
so I'm really happy when I placed third in the accuracy training gun range. I got B. Where am I? I'm number three in the global rankings. Can you see that? That was a good shot. Watch Zombieland films if you want to get hyped in playing this VR game. The voice actors here in the game are spot on. A real hoot. My mm -hmm. Smartic had some great ideas. Although, okay. Arguably, dying on his own zombie killing death sport course wasn't the best. It gives you the vibe that you are actually in the film. Then he or the in. game. So, to beat the Invitational, you have to fight that zombie lunatic too. But Ooh, whatever. He was beaten. Feel free to try. I see no difference in the graphics of the Oculus version from this Steam VR version of this game. And I guess this is good since this game has a global leaderboard and we need to have all versions be the same as possible for fairness. It has this cartoonish look and it shows icons and score overlay exactly like the arcade. Now, here is the number of locations you'll have in the game. Okay, let's count how many scenes we have here. These locations provide variety and this helps give this game a high replay value since you are trying to perfect your run for a faster timed score. Seven, eight, and the pro is nine. So nine, and then deleted scenes, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have 14 and three upcoming. Okay, so here's one of my gameplays standing up and wireless, followed by another game where I'm sitting down and wired to my PC. All right, let's try this one. Expert, Bongo's apartment, start level. Get her done! How many times did I try? Alright, ready? Go! Ever wonder how many people are still alive out there? On the run, hiding out in basements, inventing weird zombie sports? Get her done! This is Trent's place? Huh. He was gonna be your best man? <laughs> Do that again. 
again. I can't help but wonder what things would have been like if we had just listened to the scientists, stayed home, wore masks. You mean like we could have stopped this whole zombie thing from becoming an apocalypse? Exactly. Fake news. six yeah so here's my final thought zombie land vr headshot fever mix of shooting zombies plus time trial challenges plus leaderboard stats really makes this game addicting it also passes as one of the games you want to showcase if you have guests during vr party sessions and see who can get the best score it is a game that is definitely designed to give you that arcade energy it is something that you can simply play for fun with uh, little to no complexity. And there you go. I hope you like this review and please subscribe if you haven't yet. See you in the next. Bye bye.